Hello and welcome back to UEBS with Brozen. In this episode, we come back to the Dwarf Lands, <clears throat> where the Dwarf has gathered his host for a quick talk on what's going to be coming. Of course, while this is going on, the humans are sitting around and enjoying their nice little campfire talk with their new lizard ally and all their other allies they managed to acquire. Of course, the dwarves don't actually know what's going on up there right now. They are still just planning for their own little invasion, if you will. So, here we go. He has his host gathered here. He's got the dwarves, of course. He's got the bears. And he's got a group of bandits. And, of course, dwarven engineering. Where's the wild man? You can't help but wonder why they haven't showed up yet. It's very strange indeed. Of course. Little does he know of the other threat that has appeared in the land. He hasn't quite encountered it himself yet. But he will do. What's that? Coming over the hill. Is it a monster? No, it's a zombie horde. The king hasn't quite realized yet, has he? And he soon will. Look, they're clearing the trees. What the hell is that? Quick, into formation. Here we go then. We get the zombies. Shambled forward. Fortunately, they're slow. The dwarf king managed to get his people into position. The bears in front. Dwarves and bandits behind. Catapults ready to lay down that suppressive fire. Of course, remember the Dwarf King hasn't seen these guys before. He can only be as what he's, you know, he can only guess as to what they are. He thinks they're zombies. But yeah, here we go. As the lines begin to charge forward. No problem. As the bears just go and jump straight in. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, look at that. These zombies don't stand a chance. I still don't end up with any zombie bears. They are kicking butt. These bears are hard to get through. Catapults now laying down their fire. <coughs> Absolutely wrecking them. There's a bit of a gap in the bears now, though. The zombies can break through to these bandits. The bandits aren't that strong. Yeah, we could have a bit of trouble here. Oh, man. This could be a massacre. Once these bandits start to fall... Wait. Through the ridgeline, what the hell is that? Are those skeletons? Where the hell are these wild men? Why haven't they been... Why aren't they here in our time of need? They're supposed to be allies, damn it. Look. Here they come now, the wild men. They're coming. <clears throat> They're going to move straight into the flank of these zombie scum and wreck them for their treachery as the skeletons continue to pop through there. They need to hurry. Those bandits getting flanked, they're not going to be the strongest of that. Come on, wild man. Start tearing those zombies apart. <coughs> Meanwhile, however, this flank's starting to fall. The zombies are now coming around. It's going to turn all those bandits. Look, they're breaking through here as well. Oh, Man, their numbers are just gonna surge now. Come on, catapults, keep that fire going. This side, however, going a hell of a lot better than it does with the wild that support now. Here we go. Take those zombies down. The skeleton's still just pouring in. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I wonder what the Dwarf King's gonna think of his first taste of the undead. Oh, he's 
Time will tell. Zombies are still just surging around these bandits, though. However, cleared out this side. It seems the dwarves and the wild men are much more capable of taking care of zombies than what the human forces were. have fallen this day. <laughs> they have really searched through that line. And you can tell where the weak point was. What's this over here? Did they even get around here? Yeah, they can run the side here as well. There it looks. Damn. All those zombies have been taken care of. That just leaves the skeletons now that they're pouring through this pass. Let's hope that's all there is. Tell you what, though, see if it wasn't for those bears holding up the front line, that would have gone so much differently. Oh my god, how many is there? Okay, there we go, there's the end of them. Counter charging in now, though. Won't be long until we weed them all out. Keep going, guys. Come on. Catapult's still just repositioning and firing down on them. Okay, so they're targeting individuals now, so. It's not quite as effective. They're only hitting ones and twos. However, this is a curious little. U shape is forming here. All the skeletons are funneling into the middle of it, mostly. And there we go. That's the skeletons eradicated. The zombies are gone. But you know what? The dwarven kingdom here just fared a hell of a lot better than what the humans have in the past. That's for sure. I think of charging it now to make sure there's no more stragglers hiding. Damn. The question is, is the dwarf and king gonna realize how big the threat really is? This was just a taste. But he doesn't know that. I mean, there's no necromancers turned up here or nothing. However, the necromancers did make a mistake there. If this gives the dwarf and king a you know, if he feels threatened enough, he's going to want to re-ally with the humans and combine forces to take them down. Perhaps the necromancer just shot himself in the foot. Who knows? But that concludes this episode. Thank you all for joining me. If you like the content, hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it so much. And links for Discord and Twitter down below if you want to check them out. Okay, and follow the Twitter if you want to know when I go start live streaming. And yeah, thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all in the next episode. We'll see how the Dwarven Kingdoms react to this troubling news and series of events. Bye!